On this channel, I've done all kinds of different physical challenges, like learning to backflip, or salsa dance, or skateboard, or doing Ninja Warrior obstacles, or even bodybuilding. And one thing that I've noticed is my body can be really tight. Like right now, I don't even have the flexibility to touch my own toes. I recently finished reading a book called Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins, who is one of the most insane athletes I've ever read about. He's a former Navy SEAL who's done so many insane physical challenges, like placing second in an Ultraman World Championship Triathlon, a three-day, 320-mile race, cycling 260 miles in two days on a rented bicycle, he also managed to get the world record for the most amount of pull-ups done in 24 hours, which was over 4,000 pull-ups. After taking a massive toll on his body, David was getting in incredible pain and he was unable to compete. And the only thing that really solved his problems was stretching. And not only did that solve his problems, but it made him a better athlete too. Inspired by this transformation and knowing that I want to do crazy things on this channel in the future, like maybe ballet or yoga or handstands, I know that I'm going to really need to work on my own mobility. I'm dedicating a month to improving my flexibility and seeing how much I can improve in just 30 days. To start off the challenge, I wanted to take some befores for what is my current mobility at? Can I touch my toes? I wanted to look at my deep lunge flexibility to see if my elbow can touch the floor, my shoulder mobility, my back bend and things like that. And so really those are the things that I wanna see improving as well as my body just feeling good and more mobile. I've got two people that are gonna be helping me out. Number one is Tom, who's a strength and mobility coach. And he's gonna be sending me a morning and nighttime routine to really help my mobility. And then I've also got Margie from Stretch Studios who I'll be going to twice a week and she'll actually contort and stretch my body while I'm there and hopefully that will really improve my flexibility across the month. Squeeze your best as hard as you can. What you're going to do there is then reach up as high as you can. Go a bit more than this entire side of your body. So I just finished my first stretching workout with the Tom Morrison Simplistic Mobility Method. It's surprisingly more like a workout than I thought it would be. It was stretching, but it was also a lot of exercises that were stretching as each time you do that exercise. So, you know, like single leg deadlifts where you're going down and up. So I've got a bit of a sweat going. It took me about, I mean, first time going through it, 20 to 30 minutes. So I think it's gonna be around 20 to 30 minutes every morning. That was good, my body feels open. It's day one, I'm still very inflexible, so a lot of work to do. But let's give it a go. Can you see me? I don't know what way this works. There we go. Uh, hello, handsome. How you going? <laughs> that's for me, not you. This is Tom, and Tom is someone that's an expert in strength training and mobility. His whole philosophy is you don't need to be in pain when it comes to training and you can use very simple movements to build the mobility that you need to strength train or be just a really mobile human being. You can see you've been doing really good training over the years, but it's like, why are you doing what you're doing? There doesn't really seem to be much focus on like muscle activation or control with you, and you're not really getting the most out of your stretches. So common problem with training the day is people just get so obsessed with the traditional strength movements, like you have to squat, you have to deadlift, you don't do that in the day and you're weak, and it's like, you need to be able to move well, and then they're just a nice thing you can do as well. The really, really important thing, whenever you're actually looking to improve on a range of motion, so the thing we discussed first, your shoulders, so you know, getting away from this posture here all the time, yeah. and it's really about trying, don't be getting self-conscious, <laughs> I love a good slouch. <laughs> But it's really about how you are able to change that and how you're able to actually do it effectively. And it really comes down to your breathing. The big thing that we're really looking for this month is for you to know what it feels like when everything starts to do this on you and you know straight away to open that up. It's just opening up the upper back and then stabilizing the lower back, getting the hips to rotate properly, getting the shoulders to rotate properly. If you really want to make improvements on those things, it does take to do it every day. Yep. Another morning, time to stretch. One thing that I didn't think about is the 20 minutes when you're running late. So I need to jump straight into it and I'm missing my morning meditation to stretch. My stretching routine looked like this. I would start with a couch stretch reach. 
and then I'll do a glute bridge with both my legs followed by a single leg glute bridge. Then I'll do a 90-90 pushback followed by a deep lunge rotation, then side stretches, zenith rotations, thoracic bridge press, assisted split squats followed by unassisted split squats, side plank marches, elbow withdrawal lunges, cross arm overhead kickstand squats, and finally, after all that, I would do my single leg deadlifts and that would be my morning mobility routine. The morning routine took me about 20 minutes in the morning and then my nighttime routine, which was a little bit more focused on core and shoulders, would take me around 15 minutes. So one of the experts that I got to work with this month was Margie. And Margie is the owner of Stretch Studios and she is what they call a flexologist. She's someone that deeply knows a lot about stretching. She's actually got an incredible story of how stretching's helped her. She had terrible back pain for many years. She had sciatica. She went to different treatments, operations, different therapies trying to improve her back pain. And the thing that really solved it, the only thing that solved it was stretching, which is why she became so passionate about it. And now she travels around the world learning more about stretching. So during our sessions, I would have a full body stretching session. Often my body would be strapped down in a certain way. I would get pushed into the end range of my capable mobility. I would hold the stretch. I would do deep breaths to really feel the stretch and allow my body to get further into the stretch. And then I would push against the stretch. And that's using a technique called PNF stretching. It's actually one of the most effective forms of stretching for improving flexibility and increasing range of motion because you're actually strengthening your muscle in that range. And you can do this without even someone helping you. You can push against the stretch and do that a few times for a few seconds. And then as you breathe out, allow yourself to go deeper in the stretch. And that again, just opens up your mobility a lot faster and gets you much closer to your full range of motion. And another technique that we would leverage throughout the stretch is something called nerve flossing. You'll see in a stretch like this, my ankle is going up and down and up and down, and I'll do that 10 times. And what that's doing is activating all of the nerves along the side of my leg in this individual stretch to really free up those nerves while I'm in that stretch. Sometimes when we're doing activity or just going about our lives, our nerves can actually flare up and they can start to inflame, which makes the muscle tighten around it. And so when people are trying to stretch, they might be in a little bit of pain and think it's a tight muscle or something in their body, but it's actually often a branch of sciatic nerves that are caught up in the muscle. And so when you do this technique, that can really free up the nerves, allowing you to get deeper in your stretches and recover faster when you're doing gym or anything else like that. If you just want to be able to squat, run, head lift, um, do lunges and press above your head, there's a prerequisite mobility you need. And that's what most people are missing because of phones, because of um, just daily life. Their posture is just that little bit bad. So then they're overusing the wrong muscles. And then if their shoulders are rounded forward, all the muscles in the back get crazy tight and then their neck gets tight and there's they just don't feel right and a lot of people just get really put off by that and they think that that's how you're supposed to feel when you train it's like oh that's go hard to go home or no pain no gain you know like no that is not how you're supposed to feel after any sort of training sessions or a lot of people that are new to training especially if you haven't been active your whole life and say you're only starting to do something in your 20s or 30s you know you're going to be a bit stiff in some places single leg balance is just incredibly important for the body in general if someone cannot stand on one leg for like 10 seconds at a time you need to go to the doctors and get checked out because there might be something wrong you need to be strong stable and their joints to move well that is the basis that like everybody needs regardless of what you want to do just to move well after that then you would have stretching for the splits stretching for back bends it's more advanced stuff you don't need that people don't need that it is day 19 of my stretching challenge i think what is it i've got 11 days left. Day 19, I've woken up quite stiff. You know, sometimes you get DOMS. Why is, why is my not in focus? Sometimes you get delayed onset muscle soreness from gym, you get quite stiff afterwards and I've woken up quite stiff. So although usually my morning flexibility has been improving and improving, today it's been quite stiff. I'll show you guys where I'm at. Oh. Oh. Usually, with my mornings, I can just go straight into touching my toes and I've seen that improvement. Although today, because my hamstrings are so tight from working them out yesterday, I think I'm going to just really ease into my stretching today and try to just warm up.
So I'm really excited about the results that I got this month. From not being able to touch my toes to being able to get my full hands underneath my toes, that's definitely the best my mobility's ever been in my hamstrings. With the deep lunge test, being able to get deeper in that, my body just feels so much more open and my hips feel more open, so that's been amazing. And the back bend, I was also really excited to see that progress. That was one of those movements that I could only hold for about a second and it was excruciatingly uncomfortable. So to see that progress was really exciting and to get some stability in that hold. And I'd love to continue being able to lock out my arms and legs and just feel really comfortable in that position. You know, this is something that definitely you yourself, if you're looking at improving your own flexibility or mobility, these programs that I've listed and these techniques, these are great ways to really jump in and give it a go yourself. One really big tip that I learned throughout this month was the power of breathing particularly when you breathe out and go deeper into stretches. And that was a technique that I was using in the final stretches as well, which was something that I really didn't know at the start of the month. And that definitely really helped my mobility and being more comfortable in those deeper stretches. I wanna give a huge thank you and shout out to Stretch Studios over in Turak in Victoria. They're really amazing. Marg is really amazing. If you're looking to improve your own flexibility, definitely check them out. And then of course, Tom Morrison, from tommorrison.uk. If you want to do his program, I highly recommend it. And I got great results this month, so I'm sure you guys could too. So that brings me to my next challenge. And so I still haven't decided, but I'm tossing up between two options. It's either going to be learn a really hard piano piece in one month or working on a handstand. So I'm not exactly sure, but it'll definitely be one of those two. So excited to dive into one of those two. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, happy learning.